I believe if you ask a majority of people who are in partnerships, are they actually happy? They probably say no. Collectively, what I see through these transits is that there's a real disconnect amongst human beings in regards to relatedness. Based on that opposition of Venus to Jupiter, I think that disconnect definitely is because our minds are so busy. Our minds are so locked into what we think we want that it kind of distorts us attracting more of what we need. You'll always attract the thing that you need. But being able to, like I said, receive it and then grow with it is is another thing. And I really do see that collectively. Yeah. We came a long way from stuff and weaving to the zip lock. Can't believe we here the 50th year of hip hop. Many legends laid the way, kept it on in tip top shape. But the corporate boss let us get raped. Information in the bling, gotta focus on the biz now. Jada Blueprint moved on, he raising kids now. Winner here, need a heater and a fan. Instead of make a plan, niggas turn to Peter Pan. Damn, just know things will never be what it was. Improve yourself and you never have to judge. Salute and all the cuz in the bloods it's a function life is what you make it it never gave us instructions it's not low what's going on world it's your boy gemini brown here back with another episode of not low kicking knowledge today i want to talk a little bit about venus and sagittarius the current state of love and all of that as well as some more so let's get into it So before we get into it, I want to give a reminder that I'm still doing North Node readings and I have them on sale. So if you haven't checked it out, click the link below. If you're interested, come on through. It's a very good sale and I'm having a great time connecting with everyone's North Node. I think I'll probably do a video on some more observations uh, that I've gained. But if there's anything that I can tell y'all right now is focus on that north node the nature of modern astrology is really like the nature of today it's so much information that there's so many different things to pay attention to but the real power y'all take it from a gemini is focusing on one area one thing at a time and seeing how much progress you make within then okay i will reiterate i think today's culture with all our technology and stuff, really promotes traditional Gemini-like shit, just information for the sake of information. But I, I find that not everyone really is connecting with the information in the way that it can be most beneficial. Like I said, tap in, come grab a perspective, and we'll go from there. This week, and shout out to all the... Scorpio celebrating this week. I hope you pay close attention. Come get a solar return reading if you're in need. This is a, a very interesting week. Venus, the planet of love, resources, our self-image, is going through the Jupiterian sign of Sagittarius. This week, Venus is making some very, very interesting aspects, starting off with Venus square Saturn, which is always important to highlight via transit. When it comes onto Venus things, your money, your self-esteem, how you're feeling about yourself and your good looks, that can be compromised this week. We can A, be not so jovial or enthusiastic about these things because there's a certain reality setting in or uh, it requires a certain seriousness. Now, when these two planets come into aspect, it forces us to take a look at our current state of affairs, our career, our money, our self-esteem, our relationship. Whenever the transit occurs, it, it sometimes comes with a feeling of like depression or kind of being lazy. But for each individual, that's revealing different things. I want to take you back to last week where Venus first went into the sign and it was trying to the North Node. You want to look at where you were most motivated? Did you begin anything new? Uh, did you gather some momentum, which now you could be feeling like you're hitting a, a roadblock? 
this is always key to know, particularly with harsh Saturn aspects that like, when we don't feel like doing something, it's like a test, a test of accountability, a test of discipline. With the square this week, you may be questioning how much you really love something, someone, or what whatever you're doing to really gain a sense of this, if this is accurate or not, and not like a Piscean delusion or you just being emotional at the moment. Go back to last week or the last few weeks and in regards to this area. At the same time, if this comes about and you've been having these feelings for weeks, it's more of a push to go after what it is that is your truth or what you're really passionate about. It's a good time to be open towards learning new things, gathering different uh, perspectives. And with Mercury now in Sagittarius, where it's going to go retrograde at, we can come across things in which we'll need to re-examine in, in a few weeks. This could be in the form of people. This can be in the form of opportunities. You want to keep in mind, Venus is attraction. This square can very much so be representing the ability to attract more of what we want, but we may find that we are not prepared. We are not open or receptive enough towards this and ultimately it needs some work the beauty of the retrograde is that it gives us the ability to redo or rework things you'll just want to be mindful of this so i pretty much anticipate events that occur this week will need to be reviewed in the coming weeks so to kind of get ahead of that you might want to not put things off because you'll find that like in a couple of weeks you're like damn i still need to do the said thing all right. Now, the next interesting part of this is Venus moving into opposition with Jupiter. This also ramping up and adding to the ability to attract. But that thing coming within opposition to our uh, current state. So I'm just being real with you. This can represent being distracted if you're on the Gemini side of the opposition. But if you are engulfed within a personal truth, sharing your passions, having a vision, you're going to find more abundance. So I, ho I hope that makes sense. One of the things I'm really excited to share here, because, you know, I reflect a lot. And I think this particular transit really highlights and not to mention the, the Pluto at the 29th degree. So many things are crystal clear right now if you... Pay attention. When it comes on to human partnership, just like many things, because of the advantages we've acquired, particularly of choice, always look at Gemini like it's choice. Oh, variety. Right now, if you look around collectively, you'll find people with others, like attached into a, a relationship. I believe if you ask a majority of people who are in partnerships, are they actually happy? They probably say no. Collectively, what I see through these transits is that there's a real disconnect amongst human beings in regards to relatedness. Based on that opposition of Venus to Jupiter, I think that disconnect definitely is because our minds are so busy. Our minds are so locked into what we think we want, that it kind of distorts us attracting more of what we need. You'll always attract the thing that you need, but being able to, like I said, receive it and then grow with it is, is another thing. And I really do see that collectively. So always remember with Sagittarius being ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter expanding things, we also see that the, the collective individual ego is boosted. Everyone's more sure of themselves and what they love. But like I said, that can be viewed more as a want or an ego thing versus really understanding your internal need. So I encourage you as Venus goes through Sagittarius, check in with yourself in the state of your relationships and, and ask like, how can I get 
more connected to others. I, I can give an example for myself because of my love of spirituality, astrology, all of that, and it being able to take center stage career wise, I derive a great deal of pleasure from those relationships because they allow me to access parts that may have not been able to be fulfilled otherwise. So you really want to contemplate to get the more out of this transit. Like how can partnerships improve? improve? How can I get closer to other relatable or like-minded uh, people, right? How much do I project what I'm really passionate about, okay? And then financially. Financially, this can be a time where we are tempted to live above our means. Based on the, the square to Saturn, this isn't a great period for major purchases, but we can sure as hell feel like we want them. Like I said, it boils down to self-accountability, discipline, all of that. So just a little bit about Venus and Sag as we pay close attention. Feel free, chime in. Let me know how this energy is playing out for you. Check out my website if you need to read in my book, Astrology of the Matrix, my album, Sunday Gemini 2. So next time, peace.